Hey guys, I take up a week, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing um, a free Cydia tweak. Uh, it is in beta stages right now, but it seems uh, pretty stable. Um, and it's called Jelly Lock, and you can already see um, the lock is a little bit different here. Um, it's it's pretty much just how like the Android lock is uh, in a way. It's kind of it's pretty much similar to it. Um, let's, let's go ahead and Cydia, and I'll show you guys how to install it first of all. You will have to install a source. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the one we'll need. Um, I'll put that in the description, uh, and I'll also probably throw it up on. Uh, the video here um, while I'm editing it just so, you, so just so you guys can see it um, but you will need to add that source uh, once you add it go ahead and just go into it and it's the only package in there it's called jelly lock and beta in parentheses you can go ahead and install that it is free like I already said um, it'll come with some settings here so let's go ahead and head over to the settings panel uh, and here there it is jelly lock um, you will of course have to enable it there uh, it, which is set by default of course but uh, you can choose a theme here you have white default, uh, solid white, black, and iOS. I haven't tried out all these yet. I just stuck with the uh, the white default one. Um, you guys can go through all these. Um, but this is the white default theme. As you can see right here, everything's just kind of white. Um, and the lock itself is white with a little bit, with like a glow around it. In my opinion, it looks a lot cleaner on your lock screen here. It takes up less space. and just a lot, I think it just looks a lot nicer. Um, you also have the option to swipe between... Uh, your camera and your lock right here, you know, just your basic unlock, or you can uh, select any app you want and launch that. Um, I have phone uh, messages and uh, Tweetbot, which is a Twitter client. Um, you can change all those um, right here with app shortcuts. Uh, it's got number one, number two, and number three, uh, and you can choose any app, like I said. Go back to the, uh, the main settings here, though. Um, you can change uh, the circle, the color of the circle. Uh, you got all of these different options here, uh, and the color of the circle, I'm assuming... I don't know if they're talking about this circle here, or if they're talking about um, the circle that's going through all these apps here. Uh, but basically, you can customize all the stuff. Uh, it's a very cool tweak, in my opinion. I think everything on it is laid out um, nicely, uh, and it's and like I said, it's pretty similar to the Android Jelly Bean lock screen. Uh, but yeah, you can see all the different options here. You can change the size of the icons. You can change the opacity. Uh, you can sw you can swap. Um, the lock button in the camera uh, if you'd like to do that you can change the vibration um, on touching the lock so like you guys can probably hear this uh, when I touch it it vibrates um, and then once you unlock it it vibrates as well uh, so you guys can change both of those if you'd like to so you definitely have uh, plenty of different uh, customization options in here um, tons of stuff you can kind of mess around with and just, and just customize to your liking um, Right now, I basically have everything set to default. I just kind of like that, and I didn't bother switching up with it, um, except for my shortcut apps. I changed those up. And these launch very fast. Uh, if I go to Twitter here, it's already launched. Uh, if we go to phone, it's already launched. If we go to messages, it's already launched. Uh, so it's very fast on all those. So basically, it just makes accessing all these apps, or your shortcut apps right here, um, a lot faster. Um, and the style of the unlocking is just a lot nicer in my opinion as well. And overall, like I said, it makes your lock screen look a lot cleaner uh, in my opinion. Uh, but that's pretty much it um, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it. Like down below. Uh, that helps me out. Uh, if you want to share the video with your friends and let them know about it, um, go ahead and hit that share button down below as well. Uh, if you want to subscribe for my future videos, go ahead and click on the annotation or hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, and that will notify you when I release my future videos. I'm going to have more tech videos to come, more tweak reviews to come. Uh, for iPhone uh, and iPad and everything else. I believe this tweak is available for iPad as well. Um, and Of course, it is available for iPod Touch, but I think it's for the iPad as well. And like I said previously, it is free, so go ahead and check it out, um, and you guys might see that you actually like it a lot. Uh, another thing that I also put out on my YouTube channel um, is like jailbreak updates. Um, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with the status of future jailbreaks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so like when there's news about like the iOS 7 jailbreak or even something for 6.1.3, um, I'll keep you guys updated with that kind of stuff. Uh, and I actually have a video out uh, talking about the iOS 7 jailbreak and the 6.1.3 jailbreak. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll have the annotation um, on the video um, or in the description, something like that. And you guys can check that out as well if you'd like to. Uh, and you guys can also follow me on Twitter if you'd like to get um, some tech updates over there. Um, I haven't been keeping up with Twitter too much, but if you guys want to um, follow me over there, I'll, uh, I'll post some tech updates every now and then for some big news going on. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.